From the strangest to the downright unnerving, we are going to be looking at some of the weirdest courtship rituals in the animal kingdom. For some of you who are in the dating scene, you're going to be thankful you are not one of these animals. Hi, my name is Jeff, and today we are checking out which creature has the most riz. Or should I say at least the most bizarre riz in the animal kingdom. For lovers who are eager to woo their partners, they'll get all dressed up and tend to show their affection with a traditional gift of red roses. Or maybe they'll take them to a romantic dinner at a fancy restaurant. Ah, but when in the wild, when it comes to rizzing up a potential mate, there's usually some heightened personal risk. Hello, smelly it. Sure, a male showy display will attract a female's attention, yes, but it could also attract nearby predators. And fights between a male rival can also result in a date night with a body count. In a lot of cases, winning a cannibalistic female's affections places the male at the top of the post-coital menu. Remind me not to take my date to that restaurant. Many of the courting behaviors practiced by animals may seem strange to us, but as peculiar and risky as they are, they work just fine for their intended audiences. So let's go over a few animals that have the most unusual and extreme courtship rituals right now. Number one, giant pandas. Pandas are notoriously difficult to mate in captivity. Mating is no picnic in the wild either, but for completely different reasons. In the wilds of China, it is not unusual for two males to get into a rivalry for the affection of a female. The two males follow her for weeks, possibly getting into fights or just growling at each other until one of them eventually gets bored and leaves. After the aggression cools down, the female will then choose the mate that was left behind. See? Patience is a virtue. Scientists are starting to believe that it is possible that this prolonged male rivalry triggers female ovulation in pandas. Can't believe they're gonna fight over me. So maybe that's why these black and white bears are so hard to breed in captivity. Because the male competition is almost always non-existent. Number two, hippopotamus. Apparently the smell coming from a hippo's restroom is the cologne of the hippo world. To impress female hippos, males don't just release their bodily fluids. They use spinning tails and some of the most powerful farts on earth to fling the mess far and wide to make sure all the females in the area get a good sniff. Oh, he's so freaking hot. If the male catches a female's interest, she'll raise her rear up out of the water to show she's ready to reciprocate by showering the male with the same gifts. No, oh, romance was never so stinky. Number three, snails. Look closely at these photos of land snails and you'll see a small appendage close to the eye stalk. That tiny structure was propelled into the snail's head by its mate, delivering an infusion of a special mucus that prepares the snail for receiving an envelope full of sperm. As the snails are hermaphrodites, either snail in a mating pair is capable of fertilizing the other. And both are equipped with love darts that they use to stab their partner after they spend a bit of time circling around each other. Now some male species shoot single darts, some shoot multiple darts, three darts is too much, and others use a single dart to repeatedly jab their mate for close to an hour. Yeah, these uh, snails are a little bit more free-spirited than me. My rule is I never stab anyone with a sharp object on the first date. Mm-mm, mm-mm, I have standards. Number four, black widow spiders. Black widow females are about twice as large as males. And yes, we all know the story about black widows and how they eat their mates. What did he say? <laughs> but you might not know this. The small suitors have to take some precautions when approaching a female's web lest they be mistaken for prey and eaten before mating even gets underway. Males stay safe by announcing their presence to the female with vigorous rump shaking. As a male steps onto a female's web, he vibrates his abdomen, sending signals coursing along the silk strands. He will advance, vibrate, and pause. Advance, vibrate, and pause. A pattern distinctly different from the shorter, more irregular movements of, you know, trapped prey. 
This little tushy dance lets the female know she needs to take her food out on an intimate date first before enjoying the meal. Number five, pufferfish. Mystery circles on the ocean floor near Japan that measure about seven feet in diameter were recently found to be made by a fish only five inches in length. The intricate symmetrical patterns were first noticed by divers in 1995, and in 2013 researchers described what created them. A species of buffer fish with mating on its mind. Yeah, baby, that's what I'm talking about. That could be you. you Males swim along the seafloor, flapping their fins to sculpt the remarkably intricate ridges and valleys, a process that can take seven to nine days to complete. And then they decorate them with shell fragments and sediment. After interested females are fertilized, they lay their eggs in the nest site at the center. Though the structures are incredibly beautiful, the lines and shapes carved by the pufferfish more so serve to channel sediment particles than they do to just look pretty for females. Number six, a deli penguin. As Marilyn Monroe let the world know a long time ago, Diamonds are a girl's best friend. And it seems like a nice rock isn't only desired by humans. Male Adeli penguins scour the rocky beaches looking for smooth, shiny pebbles that they can bring as gifts to woo females. That's a rock fact. This search can put these small birds in harm's way due to the fact that their main predator, the leopard seal, can catch them off guard during the rock hunt. But if they endure the search and find a nice stone, they can present it to their lady. If she likes the gift, she'll use it to line her nest. This means that the courtship has begun with the male, and the two will continue building up a pebble nest to hold any eventual eggs. Oh yeah! Number seven, jumping spiders. This is one arachnid that has some major drip. The jumping spider has body parts that reflect ultraviolet light, which help male jumping spiders catch females' eyes all eight of them. Males lure the female spiders by striking poses that display these glowing patches prominently. They're the same face! Doesn't anyone notice this? I feel like I'm taking crazy pills! What? However, female spiders have a glowing trick of their own, possessing palps, a pair of appendages near the head, that glow green in ultraviolet light as well, which they use to attract the males. Both male and female spiders rely on these signals to tell who's in a mating mood. When ultraviolet light was blocked and the spiders didn't glow, that pretty much meant they were swiping left on that potential suitor. Number 8. Bowerbirds Everyone wants to feel secure, especially when it comes to being in a relationship. Some feel the most secure when they're with a faithful spouse. And although that is more often than not a universal feeling, on top of that, others also feel safe when they're presented with a nice place to live and possibly raise their young. Well, bower birds are well aware. They are known for building elaborate structures to attract female interests, even going as far as to decorate their bowers with arrays of colored objects that appear to be selected and displayed for their aesthetic appeal. But there's more to their arrangement than meets the eye. Researchers discovered that the male burrow birds construct their bachelor pads in such a way that when the male bird stands in front of it, he appears larger and more imposing to the female viewing him from outside. And the birds that create the most successful illusions were the most popular with the females and the most likely to mate with them. Wow, that's a big house. Number nine, mice. It has long been shown that in many rom-coms, music is the key to the heart. Well, that's true with little rodents as well. Male mice seeking to impress a mate sing unique, high-pitched songs, vocalizing in the ultrasonic range. They produce these whistling sounds, which differ greatly from normal communication, by creating a type of feedback loop of airflow in the windpipe and larynx. As impressive as this technique may be, female mice are picky about which songs they like. They prefer tunes that are different from those sung by their relatives. So if you're a young mouse that was raised on nothing but high-pitched country music, well, there's a good chance that's gonna do nothing but turn you off. Number 10, Porcupines. 
As you would guess, the North American porcupine must go to great lengths to secure the affections of females. And it's not for what you think, this has nothing to do with quills. See, the females come into a period where they can actually conceive a child once a year. And that special time only lasts for about 8 to 12 hours. Prior to ovulating, the female secretes a fragrant mucus that lures males closer. It is the mucus that binds us. <laughs> the lucky male that finds her and manages to chase away any rivals stimulates ovulation by drenching her in... How do I put this without getting canceled? Ah, the male drenches her in an explosive jet of homemade lemonade, if you know what I'm talking about. This explosive jet spray of lemonade is described as a high-speed projectile by porcupine experts. Shortly after, it's time to get to work to ensure the survival of the species. Don't shoot the messenger, YouTube. Don't you cancel me. And that was the list. So were these courting rituals weird enough for you or was using ultraviolet light just a usual thing for your dates? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to smash that like button. If you're new, hit subscribe so you don't miss out on future episodes. Thank you so much for watching. Stay curious and remember, it's pack or nothing.